This is a short video about how to fix your CRX50 fridge. Now these are generally branded either Waco or sometimes Dometic. And it's probably fair to say that these are the most popular fridges in small camper vans like the VW Transporters and also boats. And they're popular for good reason. One, because they're small, but the CRX50 is also super efficient, super quiet, and it has many other functions and features, such as this amazing feature here, whereby the whole of the freezer tray comes out and you can turn the whole thing into a freezer. The CRX50 replaced the CR50, and the difference basically is that the CRX50 has a digital readout here. Now, we previously did a video on how to repair and replace that. This video is all going to be about how to replace your control unit, which is the other thing that often goes wrong with these fridges. Model of fridge uses the very popular BD35F compressor. Now this compressor is used both in fridges and also I believe in cars for the air conditioning system. It's a very popular, very common compressor. Generally speaking, you can see this one is branded CCOP here. Generally speaking, you would have this control unit here, the CCOP 101N0650. Now, this particular control unit here is broken, it doesn't work, and I'm gonna show you what happens when your control unit doesn't work. The other thing I'm going to show you is why you can't go out and buy a cheaper control unit from these guys here. Um, it's made by a Turkish company called Elta. We got this from one car parts in the UK. These cost about 95 pounds, whereas one of these new will cost you anywhere up to 240 pounds. So what I wanted to see was whether you could actually use a um, 1207 compressor to run this fridge, but you can't. Initially, um, I thought they'd just sent me a faulty unit, but they've sent me another one. Supposedly it's a brand new one and it does exactly the same thing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just show you what happens with this um, Elta 1207 unit. Up your fridge in your camper van or boat, and there's a variety of ways of doing it. We like to use these little Wago clips here. They're just spring-loaded clips. It means you don't have any soldering or heat shrinking, etc. You can just do it all by hand if you ever need to disconnect the fridge and they give a really good seal. This fridge here plugged in using this Elta unit. I don't think the company believes me that this is not a direct um, swap for the Seacop, but you can hear that that compressor is clicking on and off. It's trying to fire up, but it never does. Um, and the inside of here is all lit up like that, which it shouldn't be. You can see that's flashing on and off. I'm going to attach this faulty C-cop unit here, and I'm gonna just show you what happens with a faulty one of these, and then I'm gonna finish the video just hooking up what I hope is a working C-cop that's just arrived in the post, just to demonstrate that everything worked perfectly when you have the right control. Just quickly filming that, just so that when I do send the company a link to this video, they'll know that I've actually hooked up their controller correctly. I've just hooked up this faulty um, control unit, and the reason for doing that is if you're watching this video, you might not know what's wrong with your fridge, but this is the symptoms of a faulty control unit. I've turned on the power, and the first thing to notice is that with the faulty control unit, this fridge does not automatically come on. Now, it does have an on-off button here, and if you hold that in, you should see the fridge spring to life, but nothing's happening. So if your fridge is as dead as a doornail, it's a good chance that your control unit is faulty. It's just arrived in the post today. As I mentioned, this is a very expensive part and you don't usually see them come up for sale. And this supposedly is new, so I'm intrigued to see if it actually works. Do you have a date on the back of them and an ID? There's a date of this is 2020, so this is not a particularly old unit. Version 0 0.02. This is the faulty unit that we just took off the fridge, and you can see 1830. I'm sure that's not the year when this was made, but this is a version 0 01. So this is an ov obviously an older version, and the newer ones are slightly different. So let's just fire this fridge up and see if everything works. So we fired the fridge up and the first thing I can hear straight off is that the compressor is kicking into life, which is as you'd expect, because I know that this fridge works perfectly well. And here we have all the lights are as they should be. There's no red lights on there. You can obviously adjust the temperature setting. So that CCOP unit is indeed a working unit. It does look to be brand new. And this fridge with that unit in works absolutely fine. 
So we are just going to turn the fridge off and now we're going to screw this on there properly because obviously it's just hanging loose at the moment and we should be selling this fridge on eBay. It's as new. Um, these fridges are expensive new. They're normally about six to eight hundred pounds. We'll probably sell this fridge for about four hundred pounds. It has a brand new control unit and also a brand new control unit inside. So if you do buy a second hand fridge, just bear in mind that if something goes wrong the day, the week after you buy it, that these pieces are quite expensive to replace. £240, you can pay for one of those control units and the inside control unit here, as I say, I've done a video on that before, is about £90. And if your compressor is the thing at fault, you might as well throw the fridge away and get a new one because that is all integral to the fridge and very difficult to remove and fix. There is the part number on the outside of the box that this came with this in a previous video but that there is the part you will need if the inside control unit in your fridge is not working the crx50 fridges and i believe the cr50 as well can be powered either 12 volts or 24 volts this is actually a dometic power supply that came with our van when we bought it and they're excellent little units they allow you to hook up a 12 volt supply to your leisure battery and also a 240 volt supply to the mains and this unit is clever enough to sense whether you're on mains or um, on battery and switch over accordingly. When you come to secure this fridge to your van or boat it'll be screwed in there are four screws that you can attach this with and they'll be screwed through pre-drilled holes here and then there'll be these blanking off grommets that just click in there While fixing it just remember that this whole section here slides out and remove it so that you don't damage it when you're screwing it in to get your controller off you need to undo this screw here and then it just plugs on there you can see it's just a push fit plug but to get that plug off they could be quite stiff ideally you should use a plastic spatula or something and then just gently lever it off if you use a metal screwdriver there's a good chance that you'll damage the paint why these fridges new they have quite a short tail of wire on here for connecting to the power source and these fridges are quite sensitive to what gauge of wire you use here and how long this piece of wire is so if you are fitting one of these to your camper van or boat just bear that in mind